practice? Yeah, yeah. Any shooting? You know, I mean, have you seen anything? It's hard like, to tell because we you know we're, we haven't gotten into a game so he's, you know, he's he's learning what we're doing. So that takes a little time. But we love his size. He's, he's been terrific. You know, he come, comes in early, he studies, he works hard. So he's doing all the right things, which is the first step. Thomas, Derek Alcourt just doing some work with the training. Is he doing any basketball stuff yet? Yeah, he can spot shoot. That's basically about it. And it's just, you know, he's he's right on schedule for where we thought he would be. How are you, how do you feel like you guys have? I mean, Nolan's is basically not been here for most of the year. When he has, he has to deal with Patrick Rude and things like that. How do you feel like you guys have done kind of filling in for what he's able to give you defensively? Well, that's the, that's the value of of Taj and, and Jericho. Jericho's given us good minutes as well. So, you know, I, I think defensively, you know, there's like when you look at the markers, you know, points allowed, points in the game, uh, transition points, uh, field goal percentage, they're in the top five. So I say it's, it's been pretty good. Now, New Orleans brings you to a different level. But so, you know, yeah, you know, but the, the fact that Taj can give you a lot, and Jericho can give you a lot. With uh, Mitchell, we always maybe talk about him expanding his offensive game. And then on MLK Day, he had that nice crossover dribble move to the basket. Was that nice to see something different from him? Yeah, just, you know, like he's growing. I think he's, you know, he's become very effective with dribble handoffs and that sort of thing. So uh, I love the way he's finishing inside, you know, and, and putting pressure on the rim. That's always been a gift. It's, throw it near the rim, he's got great hands, he's going to get it and finish. So that's what it just continues to grow. And, uh, I think he's gotten a lot more comfortable with the ball. Have you seen him grow in his ability to set screens too? You know, when we talked to RJ, he's saying that Mitch has made his life easier recently because he creates so much space. Well, it, it, it's, it, it goes hand in hand. So the, the, the ball handler or the guy receiving the screen has got to set his man up. So it's, yeah, I think as he gained more experience, he understands that. And then to get out of the screens fast, to put pressure on the rim, forces the defense to collapse. So that's that's important as well. And then to do it over and over, uh, you, know, you might be involved in two or three of those in, in the same possession. And that takes, there's no stat for that, but that's it's an important part of winning. Uh, the defensive numbers of late have gotten kind of where they were last year. Top five in the league, defensive the last Have you seen the guys who came here without a great reputation of the defense? Like I said, like, when you look at the, the, the markers that are important to me, it's points allowed, points in the paint, your transition points, your rebound margin. Those things have all been good all season long. You know, like sometimes I think. The, there's a premium put on put on steals, and oftentimes the teams that are high in steals have the high defensive ratings, but they're not good defensively. So it's you know it's they can turn you over, but the rest of the defense isn't there. So they, the, it's high risk, you know, high reward. But there seems to be a, you know a, the defensive rating is slanted towards that. So I look more at containment of the ball, moving on flight of the ball. Are we keeping the ball out of pain? Are we challenging the shot correctly? Are we finishing our defense? Like the totality of it. Are we protecting our, our basket in transition? You know, those are the things that, you know, I look at. Alec Burks has been really dependable for you guys across the board. He's, he's weirdly only shooting 42% of the time this year. I was curious as to what you're trying to do the numbers so well. Yeah, the, the interesting thing, you know, he probably hasn't finished as well as he, he didn't finish at a high number last year either. It's, you know, off the dribble and it's his shot making. You know, it's, you know he's still, you know, you look at it, and he's always you know, going to be around 40% from three. So he's going to be a, a good free throw shooter. Uh, and then he's going to play make for you. So, um, you know, early on in his career, he was very good at drawing fouls, but I think we, we've seen league-wide that dropped down this year, so. All right, next question. Yep.